Creating Sustainable Patterns. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 275. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 275, July 1st, 2018 edition. Today, what I'd like to talk about is creating sustainable patterns. And our ultimate expression of sustainable pattern, in our opinion, would be a completely holistic and sustainable lifestyle that integrates all aspects of sustainability into a complete and comprehensive model of sustainability. And so what you see happening here in the background is our village models designed to help people with creating sustainable patterns. And these village models have been designed with consciousness for the highest good of all. The idea is that <clears throat> we have thought, how can we do what is best for all people and all life on this planet? And how can we design sustainably? And how can we design comprehensively, holistically, and regeneratively so that it covers all aspects of the human experience? And in so doing, our idea of creating sustainable patterns is integrating sustainable models into a way of life that we think most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now and open sourcing and free sharing it as a replicable model and demonstrating as a teacher demonstration community village growing to a city and as a hub that functions indefinitely to expand the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions that we're creating that cover all these different elements. And those elements are the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, and truer stewardship. Creating sustainable patterns by putting these things together and open sourcing it as a way of living that we think most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And, and a model that provides for all the people's needs. Creating abundance, creating self-sufficiency, and building a model on cooperation and collaboration instead of competition so that people can live cooperatively, so people can live collaboratively, and, we, and they can work together. And from that place of cooperation and collaboration, because it's so much more efficient, because it's designed to be sustainable, because it's designed, built on the consciousness for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet, from that place, creating a life of abundance that is so abundant that people have the freedom to help each other. People have the freedom to cooperate in collaboration and no longer, no longer need to think about competition so that we can work together to create a better way of life and to supply the foundations, the blueprints, the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of a solution model specifically designed to help create additional solution creating models. This is how we're creating sustainable patterns from sustainable food, housing, energy, education, economics, fulfilled living, and true earth stewardship. We're teaching and designing do-it-yourself instructions and demonstrating patterns, ways of living that will be sustainable that will provide more than they take from our planet that are holistic and regenerative. And we're inviting everybody to participate as the ultimate pattern of global transformation. The pattern being that if our initial team of 50 people can launch one community, start building one community, and from doing that, it's designed to grow from 50 to 100 to multi-hundreds to eventually Thousands of people working together, cooperating, collaborating, creating everything that you see happening in the background here, inviting other people to participate, and hosting tens of thousands and eventually hundreds of thousands of people annually to come and experience what it is that we're doing and open sourcing and free sharing it all so that other people can take what it is that they like and replicate it on their own and hopefully being seeing what we're doing as, as beautiful and enjoyable enough and better than the way they're living right now so that they'll be motivated to replicate it. And that being the ultimate sustainable change pattern is a pattern of self-replication, making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating what we're doing is attractive enough that the idea will spread on its own. And that idea includes 
a model for living of cooperation and collaboration, working together with us and with other organizations around the world so that other people have more and more ways to implement this and to become a part of the cooperative and collaborative movement as well. Inviting everybody to participate so we can reach that tipping point of change where every single person on the planet is benefiting from what it is that we're doing and eventually moving to a completely sustainable planet, which is possible within our lifetime if we can make it self-replicating. If we can take that initial 50 people and demonstrate a way of life that is positive and beneficial enough that people want to replicate it so that two more organizations start after that and then four the year after that and then eight the year after that, 16, then 32 and 64 and so on and so forth, inviting everybody who wants to to get involved and participate in creating something. And not just the way that we're doing it, not just uh, imitating what it is that we're doing, but evolving and growing and improving it to meet other values to create something hopefully even better and open sourcing and free sharing that as well. So the global suite, the global collaborative collective continues to grow and provide more and more value and more and more options to people. This is how we're creating world change. And we're doing it as a 100% volunteer, 100% unpaid, non-governmental organization. I'm not paid. We've got over 300 volunteers that have contributed to our project to this point and are helping create this because we want to live this way, because we want other people to be able to live this way, and because we see a sustainable planet as possible. And we're making that happen. So with that said, here is one week of our team's open source collaborative creation and what we've done in the last week. Take a look. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team finished another big round of edits and additions to the seven villages book we're developing, plus related updates to the website. You can see some of the book edits here. The core team additionally added the completed work of Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, to the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 page, which you can see here. Also, Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his 13th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week, Shadi created the initial five pages shown here for assembling the back storage area component. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village Pod 3 render updates also. Here is update 120 of Dean's work, showing more test renders for the developing section view of one of the Cobb Village living units. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued updating the bedroom renders in the Duplicle City Center to test the new lighting and color schemes. This resulted in this final bedroom render. The core team also worked on the City Center boiler room and basement in SketchUp. This is considered part of the Eco Kitchen, and we moved the boiler room walls, added a door, and placed the updated stairwell wall with a new door. Additionally, we resized the shelves and updated the placement of them, and built cooler and freezer walls, doors, and shelves, which you can see here. The core team working with Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 83rd week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was finishing placement and testing of the living dome bathroom lights and creating and adding this related graphic to the website. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering by creating the beam layout and labeling system you see here, along with an initial proposal for improving it. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his 24th week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplicle City Center. This week's focus was adding the zone colors, layers, legend, ERV ducting, diffusers, and mini split refrigerant lines in AutoCAD and updating the master template to match. You can see some of this work here. And Vita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her 11th week helping with the Duplicle City Center materials and costs. This week's focus was more research on the dining, living, and social dome patio and cupola furniture cost analysis, dining and swimming pool area furniture modifications in AutoCAD, and adding images for everything researched so far. You can see some of this work here. Last but not least, Wa Feng, civil engineer, completed his ninth week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designed for the city center. 
This week, he focused on adding the mezzanine and column details into AutoCAD 3D, labeling all the sprinkler and pipe components, and then doing the pressure calculations for the basement and dining area, and creating the necessary matching spreadsheet details. Some examples of this work are shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we met with the Back to the Mother project who shares many of our goals. We also research for integration additional greenhouse and hoop house coverage options, companion planting, and fertilizer strategies. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team began rebuilding and adding all the missing content for the collaborative team roles and training page, so it'll be as complete and comprehensive as all the other pages of the evaluation evolution component of the Learning for Life program. You can see some of this work here, and we'd say we're about 50% complete with this task. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. The core team, working with Jin Hua, web and graphic designer, began collaborating on a new online marketing strategy. This week's focus was initial keyword organization and ad writing, some of which you can see here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments creating sustainable patterns. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these comes out, uh, <laughs> let's try that again. And if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog, visit our website. There is an immense amount of information there, hundreds of pages of open source content that we've created. You're invited to check that out. And of course, if you'd like, uh, like to help us or get involved, visit our helping page. If you'd like the easiest way to do that, share information on social media, help us get the information out there, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our YouTube channel, uh, subscribe to any of our social media networks. We're on, about, we're on all of them. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit, at least all the popular ones, and about 15 other social media networks, Instagram, Twitter, to make it as easy as possible for you to get involved, follow our, our content, to help share our content, um, like it. These are the greatest way, great, easiest ways to help us out. And of course, if you donated to us, that's a big uh, help as well. We're all unpaid. And so those donations go 100% to forwarding our mission and goals and the open source creative process. They don't go to paychecks or anything else. And uh, if you just watched to the end of this video, even that is appreciated. Energetically, that's a big support for us. Not many people watch to the end. So thanks if that's you as well. It's one of the easiest ways to help us out. Uh, thanks for the emails. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the donations that I already said. Thanks for whatever way you're supporting. It is appreciated. We do appreciate it. And uh, as I say every single week, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.